Our WordPress theme is basically done, but there are lots of enhancements that we can make. In this video, we'll go ahead and get started on comments. People have come to expect comments to be a feature of any blog, but before we can get into that, we need to make a basic template that allows us to show individual posts. This will be the page that site visitors come to when they click on one of our articles. The template is typically called single.php, so let's go ahead and create that file now. So I'll go ahead and switch over to my text editor and I'll create a file called single.php and I'll go ahead and open it there. And inside of this file, we're going to create a page that's very similar to the loop in our index page. So let's start out by copying that over. So we'll go ahead and select our content here. Actually, we need everything and we'll paste it in just like that. Now, we don't actually need the loop because we're only displaying a single post at a time. However, we do still need to get the post. So instead of looping over everything, we're going to just say the post as a template tag, and we'll remove the end while at the end. And when we switch back to the browser and refresh the page and click on one of our posts here, you can see that we now have a single post page. Now we could stop here if we wanted. However, I like to emphasize that the point of creating a custom single post page like this is so that you can make your single posts look different from the rest of your blog posts in the index template. So to show you an example of what I mean, let's go ahead and customize this template a bit and add some previous and next links so that our site visitors can navigate to the previous post and to the next post without having to go back to the index view. Normally, this type of thing requires some business logic to implement, but WordPress template tags make it really easy. So I'm going to switch back to our text editor here and just above the post div, I'm going to create a new div and I'm going to give it the class post nav and I'll close it there. And inside, I'm going to put two more divs and I'll give them the class previous post and then next post. So we'll just change previous to say next. And inside of each one of these divs, we need to use template tags. So we'll open up some PHP tags and I'll say previous post link and then next post link. So we'll just change previous to next. And when we switch back and refresh, you can see that we now have some links here, but they do need some CSS styling. So let's go ahead and switch back to our text editor. And we're going to go ahead and open up style.css. And in our content area here, we're just going to make the class or select the class previous post. And we'll float it to left. And then we want next post. We'll float it to the right, and then we need to style the container class post nav. And we need just a little bit more room here so we can see this. And we'll give it a margin bottom of 15 pixels. We'll again float that to the left, and we'll give it a width of 700 pixels. So when we switch back and refresh, there you can see we now have these previous and next links and they're styled and we can go ahead and cycle through all of our blog posts here pretty easily. We could of course customize our single posts a lot more with additional template tags, but we have enough here that we're ready to shift our attention over to comments. Adding comments is like so many other things when making a WordPress theme. They can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make them. If you want to build a custom comment form, you can, 
but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this tutorial and probably merits its own chapter. Fortunately, WordPress 3.0 has greatly simplified this process. In order to add a comment form, you just need one simple template tag. So we'll go ahead and switch back to our text editor and we'll go to single.php and we want to go ahead and add our comment form and we're going to do that inside of the post div which is right here. So we'll open up PHP tags and we're going to use the template tag comment underscore form just like that and when we switch back and refresh boom we now have a comments form just like that. Now this is kind of ugly so we'll at least customize the look of this form using CSS without actually modifying its HTML structure. So let's go ahead and switch back to our style sheet and we're going to create a new area here for comments and we'll create a little bit more space here to work with and first we're going to select a div called respond. That's just the div that kind of holds the entire comment form and we'll give it a margin of 20 pixels and then inside of respond we want our comment label to be display block with a font weight of bold and we want the form allowed tags to have a padding of five pixels and we'll give them a little bit nicer looking background maybe something yellow to kind of highlight them and when we switch back and refresh much better now if we go ahead and log out you'll see that the comment form actually looks different this is actually what most people will see so we have a comments form but even if we create a comment we can't see them yet so to make this work we need to add the following line to our file we'll go ahead and add a template tag called comments template so we'll open up a PHP tag say comments template and put a semicolon there and when we go back and refresh you can see that this will actually add yet another comments form. Now normally if there were comments they would be displayed just above this and there would be a comments form. So let's actually go ahead and type a comment. Currently we have two comment forms here but just bear with me. So I'll put in my name, my email address, the Carsonified website and I'll type in a comment and I'll post it and you can see that we now have comments. In fact if you wanted to you could just use that one line of code comments template and be done with it. You wouldn't even have to include the comments form but we want to make a custom layout for our comments so we'll tackle that next and we'll go ahead and get rid of this secondary form in doing that. Now that we have a single post template we're ready to add in comments. Mm -hmm. 